Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought's The Campaign Mode. And this is my first time playing the campaign. I am playing it live on Twitch. Quite a lively Twitch chat this evening, actually. And I am full of the cold, for which I apologise, but uh, hopefully you'll bear with me. So, 1890 is a start year. I, I don't have any other choice because I haven't unlocked anything yet. Normal difficulty, historical component, and we're going to create our own fleet. Da, 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 da. Well, I don't think you can colonize stuff in the game at the moment. <laughs> okay, so fleet creation. Go to the ship design tab to design ships and build them. Okay. Ship design. So we'll have to come up with a design for each of the ship classes. So, yeah, this is primarily why I went with the UK because their battleship one, whilst still pretty terrible, I mean, it's a pre dreadnought, is not the worst thing in the world. Uh, now, we had a really good name for this. Vanguard, because it is the first uh, ship that we will be putting out. Now, I won't have much of the way of options. Both towers are equally shit. <laughs> uh, thank you for the follow, if the game will tell me who that was. Uh, Pictonim, thank you very much. First time to come to the live stream? Yes, hello. Welcome. E exactly. The the starting battleship for the Germans, I, I happen to know, is is pretty darn awful. Uh, get the good rear tower. Uh, well, they have said that uh, the pre-dreadnoughts are getting some love in the next update. Whatever that is. Now, I'm not going to have very many options. Coal. <laughs> Steam steering. This is the new steering gear component, I guess. Oh, you get compound armor, though. And another water protected deck. And that's literally it. Quite cool that they just take out the armored and equipment sections because I can't do anything with them. Uh, range, go for a medium range, should be fine. Uh, 62 smoke, could fit quite a lot of funnels if I wanted, but there's no space for the things. Can I not fit two in there? Nope. Go for the big one then, if it will fit, it won't. I guess we just have to go with that then. That is going to be a very bad engine efficiency. Oh, goodness. Uh, I could lower the speed. But at some point, you just got to cut your losses. I mean, it can make it minimum speed. It still has terrible engine efficiency. Oh, well. we'll go with that. Just a, sl a slow brick. Uh, what guns do we get access to? These are smaller, by the way. That's one of the things I noticed, that all, all the little cards down here are a bit smaller. Uh, they're all Mark 1s. They're never going to hit anything in a million, billion years. They're all terrible. Go for 12... Tw Could I really get away with four 12-inch guns? Just... That's a very, very heavy armament. I might have to come back to that. Casements, four inch would be good. Two inch. All right, uh, I could put a torpedo launcher on. They could be extremely useful. I've got a bit of a four-way offset, so I'm just going to take the front casements off to help with that. Uh, now I get the option for a barbette, which is nice. Ah, now armament has popped up. Okay. Pretty, ooh. Enhanced reload. I know I've got overweight. I will come back and fix that later. It's nice that they don't show you stuff that you don't have access to. I like that. Uh, we'll go over with juice complement torpedoes. 
heavy shells. Uh, reduce bulk kits down to many. And uh, we're going to put the rest into armor. So let's go 12 inch. What could these actually go through? And it could actually go through quite a lot. If you get close enough. Which you're going to have to to hit. Uh, yeah, the main guns are going to absolutely suck. So they might as well be the biggest, baddest main guns you can get. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go 12. Deck armor is really not important in this era. I mean, technically, if we armored up to 3 inch, we'd be fine. Let's go 1.5. Deck, deck armor is really not going to be a factor, I don't think. I'd like a little bit of superstructure armor instead. Just so we can't be uh, annoyed by little tiny light cruisers or something to death. Actually, do you know what? Half. Let's go for a half. A half and one inch. I think that's more than enough. I'd rather have belt armor. Thank you very much. Not that these ships are going to last very long or be very good. But I'd rather they were able to take a hit. Current range is 9,488 kilometers. Okay, I, I, I'm happy enough with that. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a four weight offset, but it's not the worst thing in the world. And it doesn't look half bad. Pre-Dreadnought, I could deal with that. They're 4 million each. Uh, they come... The maintenance is 186,000 a month, so they're quite expensive. 14 months to build. But we shouldn't need too many. Shouldn't need too many. So, we'll save that. And we'll move on to the Armoured Cruiser, which is probably going to be my mainstay of ship, actually. Armoured Cruisers tend to be pretty good early on in the game. The Beric. Ah, what would we call the Armoured Cruisers? Uh, go for the slightly better tower. Yeah, the cheap one, because that doesn't make much difference. Again, I'm just sticking to the, the, you know, medium or small size. What kind of guns do we get access to? Six, sevens, eights, nines, tens, elevens. Huh. If I go with it, elevens are huge and far too heavy. Uh, what about eights? Eights could work. Oh wow, <laughs> the uh, the weight perhaps not. I mean, it is trying to do twenty six knots. To be fair to it, I'd like to see if I can get away with eights. I'll make them very similar to the battleships, actually, in design, almost identical. Uh, I don't think smoke interference is going to be a huge issue. It's basically sticking the biggest funnel we can. Uh, you can only name the first ship in a class. Okay, that's... Uh, I mean, I understand the limitation. It'd be cool if we could rename ships. So we could name all the ships in a class. That'd be cool. Yeah, but basically, there that's that's the design idea behind it. It's just like a like the big battleships, just smaller. I tend to find armored cruisers are actually pretty pretty decent uh, early on. They're less disappointing than the battleships. Can't change any of that. We'll go reduced ammo because with the four launches you've got, you've got you know that gives you four torpedoes on the ship, and I seriously doubt you're going to get to fire more than that. 
problem is weight, which is so far over. But uh, of course, it's going far too fast. So once it gets probably down to minimum speed, <laughs> there we go. Weight is uh, weight is a little bit closer. We'll go mini bolt kids again. Uh, what was the range on the battleship? Nine thousand eight hundred. So these are slightly lower range. Could we get it up to the same range? Yeah, we could. But it's very heavy to do that in terms of coal. Okay. I'd rather have more armor, to be honest. They're going to be cramped again. Oh, you can rename them. Oh, awesome. Can't refit. I would imagine refitting is something they're pr probably going to think about adding later. Um, that would be a super cool feature. Uh... Yeah, a uh, deck. Yeah, I mean, a half and a bit. <laughs> but we need we need more armor. We definitely need more turret. Oh, I've gone way over. Shit. Uh, let's go really low on that. Anything else we drop? Uh, I could go to standard bolt kids actually. I would I would like that turret armor. It's just really really quite a lot. Let's go for s go for seven and get some more main belt. Okay, I think that'll work. Uh, any ideas on a name, chat? Yeah, I, I, they do actually. I do actually really like the look of the early turrets. The Thunder Child? Alright. Okay. New design. Light cruiser. Uh so purpose of so where is the Thunder Childs and the Vanguards are really there to kill enemy ships of equivalent kind of size. This slow this thing. It's going to be much more about getting up in the enemy's face, hunting down transports, killing off torpedo boats, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to spam small guns, basically. Something like that. So lots and lots and lots of small guns, and then we'll stick on the torpedo tubes as well. And then we'll try and get it to work. So go medium range. Uh, we'll grab a funnel. I'm assuming. Oh no, that's way too much smoke. Two standards. Nope. Yeah, one angled funnel. Uh, radar escort cruiser. Yeah, that's that. That is definitely my thinking. Uh, no way I'm going to be able to get it to go twenty six point seven knots though. <laughs> Some hope it's probably going to be stuck at fuck all. Yeah, seventeen. <laughs> Even then, it doesn't have enough engine efficiency. Standard ammo torps. It's got a pretty good range. Just wish it was a little bit faster. I guess I could push it to slightly faster speed. I'm just going to have terrible engine efficiency. I push it to 20 knots. Engine efficiency is god awful, but uh, that's fast enough. We could actually make it smaller and s yeah, let's do that. I don't want to go down to the smaller size. We'll go for that one. That will give me a little bit of engine efficiency <laughs> back. Uh, hey, Admiral Obvious. Yep, four inch guns. Just goes. Uh, it's just there to kill torpedo boats and stuff. 
its torpedoes will be its main uh, threat against any, any any actual serious ship, I imagine. But we can probably make it so that it can't be hurt too easily. Uh, <laughs> six inch main belts. That's better than the, the, the armored cruiser, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Perfectly balanced. Just little armored bricks to get in the way of the enemy. Uh, let's go for something like this. I am indeed drinking wine and enjoying the campaign. That is the plan. I think that works. The superb. But uh, if chat has a better name, consider it. Uh, yeah, the, the patch is tiny. Um, a few megabytes. Honestly, it's it's uh, it's really not not too data intensive. It's very very fast to download. I, I'm I'm pretty much happy with that design. I think the splendid. Okay. And lastly, we can bring a torpedo boat, which I'm probably not going to use ever, but uh, we might as well have the design. Um, sure. Really, you could put a four-inch gun on it. It's pretty. Uh, oh, it does take. Oh, it does take the light out. It's just just way too bright. Four-inch gun would be pretty nice. It's completely unnecessary though. We'll just go with a two-inch gun. Uh, a funnel of some sort. Wow. That's so big that it wouldn't be able to fit anything else. Look at that tiny little funnel. How big is this one? Oh, it's even smaller. How cute. They fit two of those. Two of those. And a torpedo launcher. Or two. Fearsome. Now I just need to get it underway. Uh, <laughs> obviously nothing I can do there. We'll reduce the shells. Minimum light shells. Probably not going to get two shots with this thing. Don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, let's drop the range to normal. There we go. Halfway offset is... Gigantic. I can't armor it. It's terrible. I'm going to take that off. Oh, man. Hey, this really doesn't make much sense. But I've got 90% edge if it's 21 knots top speed. Uh, yep. Yeah, they completely hide the tech. That's better. And I didn't need that second funnel anyway. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. It's not quite as terrible. Four way offset. Can I fit a third tube? No. <laughs> Game says no, you may not fit a third tube. Thank you for the follow. Big lucky E. New steering gear looks interesting. Cool. Alright, there's nothing else to do but drop the energy efficiency and bump the speed up to as much as I can. There you go. 24 and a half knots. The snapper. Uh, don't really. Do I need maximum bulkheads? No. Twitchy knees? I don't. But this thing has no armor whatsoever. Literally none. So the only thing stopping it sinking is bulkheads. So, so we're going to keep it lightning. I mean, 24 and a half knots lightning. <laughs> 
crew quarters are relevant now, but it's pre-Dreadnought era, and that is a luxury that we can't afford at the moment. Uh, I, know, I know what I'm going to call this. <laughs> the gnat. <laughs> okay, save. What? I don't have any unsaved designs, do I? Ah, that's splendid. I haven't saved. Save that. Done. Okay, so... Damn, those are expensive. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, how many am I going to need... Five, perhaps. Five battleships is probably more than enough. Uh, I'm imagining. But quite like a few Thunder Childs to build know, ten of them. I have no idea about these numbers. Probably going to go bankrupt immediately. We'll get ten of the lights. And we'll pick up a couple of the gnats. Because they're not they're not very expensive at all. 50 of those. Done. So if I go to Audacious here, hit View, can I rename it? It's not giving me that option. Maybe I have to build it first. Well, yeah, finances so I don't overbuild. Uh, so this will set my well, it's not telling me actually. Yeah, my mon monthly naval budget is thirty-one million. So, I don't think it'll be insane. Uh, give me a starting fleet of forty, and I know from the screenshots that's roughly what the Germans will start with. So, I think that'll be okay. And we'll we'll have a look at what the Germans have got, and then we'll 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 build it out. Um, yeah, I went for the own fleet option. Now, I won't select any of this. Uh, okay. I think that is it. Oh, I can, ah, actually, can I see? No, yeah, the Germans here, it tells me they've got eight battleships, 12 heavy cruisers. So we definitely want to be able to match them. So we'll order another five. No, I can't. It's too expensive. <laughs> How much money do I have left? 2.4 million. What do we think, chat? So with this, we would have five battleships, 10 heavy cruisers, 10 light cruisers, and 15 torpedo boats. So they outnumber us in cruisers, not torpedo boats. And battleships, so what should we build more of? Span torpedo boats. <laughs> yeah, research. I reckon I'm going to push that as high as I can. It's going to drop my monthly budget from 15 to 8 mil. Save the money. Yeah. I'm thinking invest in <laughs> tech just now. Because those initial ships are pretty rubbish. So I think that's what we'll go for. I think we'll just go for this. Start campaign. Okay. Let's assign the fleet. Oh, they've, they've uh, it's, it's put them out into uh, ports by itself. Which is cool. So 
So let's have a look. See what we've see what we've got. Is there a key for moving the map around? Actually, what have we got in Scarpa? Cruiser, two lights and four torpedo boats. So there's North Sea and English Channel, basically the two that I'm going to have to care about. As far as I can tell. Uh, can you move them? So that's... Resolution is in... Batty. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, so you can't move the ships. Right. Cool, cool. So my research points. Yes, good point. Uh, we want a whole construction, perhaps? Ah. Develops new battleship hulls. Yes, please. Uh, big gun tech. And armor quality, please. I think hit <laughs> destroyers. So I'm guessing what I should do is what 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 I've got to sign to the channel. King George V Ajax and then the Shannon and Drobler Kent Hampshire Gibraltar Cheshire. Okay, so the North Sea, I'm gonna want let's Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Go Sea Control on Vanguard and Thunderchild with the Drake. Splendid Enterprise and Penguin on sea control. And then English Channel will just put the torpedo boats out just in case the Germans get funny. Backed up by the Chester. There we go. I think I should be able to afford that. Yes. In fact, I could build a lot more. Okay. Uh, uh, Enterprise was a Royal Navy ship uh, first. Uh, she was a frigate, I think. Wooden ship. Indian could be changed to escort or secret drive. I didn't see escort on the list. Yeah, just... Sea control. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is kind of shared, shared history, okay, uh, I guess. Um, can I look at Germany, actually? Tell me anything about them. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. They've got a cruiser. They've got a couple of battleships in Emden. Helgoland, Bremen, Hamburg... Yeah, so they could deploy two battleships, four battleships, three heavy cruisers, a bunch more heavy cruisers, so yeah, six heavy cruisers, they could deploy most of their fleet, but uh, I think we'll be okay, I think we'll be okay. No, uh, Steam will come after the hotfixes, I think. So they said about a month. Well, let's hit next turn and see what happens. Nothing. Mission list, battle or ambush? Oh, that's out in the... That's out in the North Atlantic. Very tricky. So can I respond to that? Or is that fixed? So, I didn't have very much in the North Atlantic, I just had resolution. 
So I change that to C control. Does that change what happens over here? No. Yeah, steep learning curve indeed. And we have a battle over here in the Irish Sea. Which is a, the Diadem and the Brisk against three of their light cruisers. So let's do this one first. Auto resolve. God. Let's see how we get on. So first chance to have a look at some German ships. So I'm assuming this is their light cruiser design. Enemy smoke is spotted to the southeast. So we have the diadem and the brisk. I forgot where they said the enemy ships were. Looks good though. Oh, southeast. Oh, missed that. So they're over this way. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, <laughs> auto resolve for the exceedingly brave or foolishly competent player. Yeah. I mean, it's not even total war auto resolve where you have an idea of how you'll do. <laughs> okay. Enemy ship sighted. Six inch guns, six of them. So, pretty heavily armed. But not as heavily armed as the diadem. So we'll just have to be careful with the brisk here. Make sure we don't make any boo boos. Just notice I start off with cadets, which I might need to uh, have a look at. My own fault for doing that. Not sure what the Germans all have. Up my true training training budget. Yeah, I think it just takes time to train them up. I didn't realise they'd start at cadet. I, I assume they would start at trained. But uh, it's my own stupid mistake. Okay, we have a full ID. They also have cadets. Okay. I mean, I didn't change my crew budget. I don't want to whack it up too much. Uh, they do carry a torpedo. One. Where is it? On the front. Okay. They are a little bit faster than my light cruisers, I think. No, they're not. <laughs> okay, armor, what's that like? Pretty rubbish. Of course, it's not going to be too much to talk about with the rest of their armor, is there? Okay. Never know your luck. We might be able to do some damage to them. No one has hit each other yet, because of course they haven't. Iron plate armor. It does something. I mean, it's better than wood, I suppose. Oh, they have scored a hit, but it didn't do very much. I'm gonna get you. I am. Yeah, they know to avoid. Yeah, they do. Because I have torpedoes. They have a torpedo as well, of course. <laughs> I 
They definitely don't seem too keen to close in and uh, fight me close up. See what we've got eight torpedoes on these things. If you get a good shot, any shot at all, if you've got a solution, you can fire. The Munchen is coming close to the diadem, which is nice. Just have to make sure they don't fire a torpedo at me. But uh, I think they are turning away before they're going to get the chance. A hit <laughs> that did nothing and ricocheted. Oh, pre dreadnoughts, pre dreadnought era. You are just the worst. There, take a torpedo. Which they will spot, but it will cause them to turn. Just maybe. Right, died him. You can fire if you get a an angle on the mission, which you just might. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yep. You go away. Brisk. My goodness, you got so close. Totally missed it. Micro skills are not the best. Oh, we finally scored a good hit. Find another torpedo at the Arcona, but totally messed with the risk. Items shooting torpedoes again. Missed. Oh my goodness, Admiral Obvious, thank you very much. Thank you for the, uh, the two gift subs. Just have to make sure I don't run into my own torpedoes. Oh, Diadem, what happened to you? Six inch here. Fix it, please. Right, brisk. Torpedo away. Oh my word, what direction was that? Diadem has fixed itself up. So good. <laughs> oh, thanks for dropping by, Stephen Turtle Nick. Itching to get into game. Yeah, there you are. This little sh 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 shooter of a light cruiser. Just utterly refusing to die. Took a hit though. Steering gear damaged. Brisk coming very, very, very close now. Basically boarding range. Top 
torpedo. Did that hit? I heard it fire. Might have been so close it didn't arm. Really annoying. Might be able to get them with the rear launcher. To get a main gun. They're probably going to sink anyway. Of their bulk cases we've got maximum. But we've down one enemy cruiser. Okay. Good stuff. Didn't arm, I know. So annoying. Can you close in on the Dresden? We'll try and uh, gang up on the Dresden with both cruisers. Brisk actually might be better off taking on uh, Munchen. <laughs> Flooding it. Lovely. Battle in the fog now. Keep uh, brisk on the mission. Can you get him? Can you get him? Close. There we go. Torpedo away. Will be spotted immediately, but they were on a turn. It's going to be very hard for them to avoid. And gotcha. <laughs> Not dead, but uh, it is now. Perfect. Okay. Now things become slightly more in our favour. I know it's dangerous going across the front of these ships. Yep, bow torps. They only have the one, though. And they are super, super short ranged. Oh, no. No, no, no. no. Dresden, keep going forwards. Oh, yeah. Scored a hit. Killed the captain. Brisk, stop being stupid. Thank you. No, the front launcher is not going to be reloaded. Might be able to get them with the A launcher. Shit. Only chance now is to get so close. But the torpedo can't hurt me. A little bit of a ram. Incidental. But we did hit them. 
buy the rear torque too. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. And battle. Good stuff. Well, that's a good first first outing. Arcona, Dresden and Munchen sunk. <laughs> okay. Pretty good victory points. Right. What are we dealing with here? Yeah, the the brisk did really, really well. Uh, main gun accuracy was not bad. Hmm. I got 20 XP from that, the brisk. Nice. That German's very sunk. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> Certainly uh, helped my victory point total. Now, ambush. I'm, I'm going to lose that. So, what I'm going to do before I forget, I'm going to check that I have at least something active everywhere. Uh, see control. See control. Even if it's just the torpedo boats. Most of the stuff is in the North Sea. Okay, repairing. Cool. A month. To get the brisk and the diadem back in action. So let's send the lower soft. And the Natal back out to cover them. <laughs> <laughs> brisk MVP, yeah, Brisk did really well. Really, really well. Oh, it's a few set crew, yeah, it's just the amount that you set. So they, they just sit there tra trading up. I could increase that. That will give us a bit of a buff. We could just max it out. Gives a bit of an advantage early on until we get some more uh, tech on the go. Uh, that ambush. I mean. <laughs> There's no point fighting it. I can't control any of that. Auto resolve. There you go. What? <laughs> Light damage to the battleship and medium damage to a heavy cruiser. You only sunk three of the transports. Okay. Amazing stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, I'm, I'm going to um, break up the YouTube episode by uh, hitting that here. And uh, I'll see you again soon for more of the campaign. But on Twitch, we're just going to keep going. Bye for now.